What if the most well-known self-driving system on the planet, a system deployed on millions of vehicles, is built on a fundamentally flawed premise? This is the core of the monumental battle raging in the automotive and technology worlds. It is a philosophical and engineering war that pits two diametrically opposed ideas against each other in the quest for full autonomy. On one side, there is vision only, the belief that with cameras and a powerful enough artificial intelligence, a car can learn to drive just like a human. On the other, there is sensor fusion, the pragmatic approach that argues true safety can only be achieved by giving a car superhuman senses. This is the battle of LiDAR versus vision. As we stand here in late 2025, this is no longer a theoretical debate. Level three autonomous systems are now a certified reality on public highways from manufacturers like Mercedes-Benz and Volvo, while vision-only systems have accumulated billions of miles of real-world data. The stakes have never been higher, and the architectural choice made by these companies will define the safety and capability of personal transportation for the next century. Today, we will provide the definitive analysis. First, we will break down the fundamental science of how each technology perceives the world. Then we will compare their performance in the real world, where theory meets asphalt. Next, we will analyze the critical business strategies behind each choice. And finally, we will deliver our verdict on which philosophy is winning the war for self-driving dominance. At the heart of this conflict are two vastly different ways of seeing. The vision-only approach, most famously championed by Tesla, is predicated on biomimicry. It argues that since humans navigate the world with two eyes in a neural network, our brain, the ultimate path to a general purpose self-driving system is to replicate this process. This system uses an array of cameras to capture a 2D video feed of the surrounding environment. A sophisticated neural network then analyzes these pixel patterns, inferring depth, identifying objects, and predicting trajectories. It is a monumental software challenge, effectively teaching a machine to interpret a flat image and construct an understanding of a 3D world just as our brain does. It learns to recognize a stop sign not as a specific pattern of red pixels, but as a conceptual object with inherent meaning. LiDAR, which stands for light detection and ranging, takes the opposite approach. It is not an interpretive system, it is a measurement system. A LiDAR unit spins at high speed, emitting millions of laser pulses per second, typically in the infrared spectrum around the 905 nanometers or 1,550 nanometers wavelengths. It then measures the precise time it takes for these pulses to bounce off objects and return to the sensor. This time of flight data is used to create a direct, mathematically precise, three-dimensional map of the environment called a point cloud. It doesn't infer depth, it measures it with centimeter level accuracy. It is a superhuman sense providing a perfect geometric understanding of the world, day or night. Systems that use LiDAR don't rely on it alone. They fuse its data with inputs from cameras and radar, creating a redundant, multi-layered perception system. On a perfect, sunny day, the lines between these two philosophies can seem blurred. But it is in the edge cases, the adverse weather, the challenging light, the unexpected obstacle, that the architectural differences become stark. Vision-only systems have proven incredibly capable at object classification. They excel at reading road signs, identifying the color of a traffic light, and distinguishing between a police car and a delivery van, tasks that are difficult for a system that only sees a geometric shape. However, vision is fundamentally dependent on light and clarity. As we have seen with the continued development of Tesla's FSD, even the most advanced systems can be challenged by heavy rain, dense fog, snow, or even the direct glare of a rising or setting sun. The system's need to infer depth can also lead to issues like phantom braking, where a shadow on the road is momentarily misinterpreted as a solid object. While the neural networks are constantly improving, they are fighting against the physical limitations of visible light. LiDAR-based systems, on the other hand, are almost entirely immune to ambient light conditions. Because they generate their own light, they operate with the same precision in broad daylight as they do in pitch black darkness. Their infrared lasers can also penetrate obscurants like fog and rain far more effectively than a standard camera. This provides an unwavering foundation of geometric truth 
However, LiDAR is not a silver bullet. A point cloud alone cannot tell you if a traffic light is red or green, nor can it read the speed limit on a sign. Its primary weakness is a lower resolution than a camera and difficulty with low reflectivity objects. This is precisely why it is never used in isolation. The industry-leading Level 3 systems, like Mercedes Drive Pilot, fuse LiDAR's geometric precision with camera data that for classification and radar for velocity, creating a robust system where one sensor's weakness is covered by another's strength. Of these challenging conditions, dense fog, direct sun glare, or a sudden downpour, which one would make you least comfortable relying on a vision-only system? Let us know in the comments. The choice between these technologies is as much about business strategy as it is about engineering. Tesla's vision-only approach is a bet on scalability and data acquisition. Cameras are exceptionally cheap, costing only a few dollars per unit. By including the necessary hardware on every vehicle sold, Tesla created the largest data gathering fleet in the world, collecting billions of miles of driving data to train its neural network. The strategy is to solve the hardest problem, general AI, with the belief that once solved, it will be the most capable and lowest cost solution, enabling a rapid and profitable rollout of a truly autonomous system. It is a high-risk, high-reward strategy that prioritizes long-term capability over short-term certifiability. The sensor fusion approach, adopted by nearly every other automaker, is a bet on certifiable safety and incremental progress. Historically, LiDAR has been prohibitively expensive, with early units costing upwards of $75,000. However, as of 2025, solid-state LiDAR units from manufacturers like Luminar and Innoviz have brought that cost below $1,000 and are rapidly approaching the sub-$500 mark. While still more expensive than a camera, this price point makes it viable for premium vehicles. This approach allows companies to build and certify a level three system with a clearly defined operational design domain. For example, highway driving under 60 miles per hour. It is a less ambitious, but more pragmatic and risk averse strategy focused on delivering a demonstrably safe and reliable product to the market in the near term. Which strategy do you believe is more likely to succeed in the long run? Tesla's bet on solving AI or the industry's bet on redundant hardware? Share your reasoning below. After analyzing the science, the real world performance, and the business strategies, a clear picture of the autonomous landscape in 2025 emerges. The vision-only approach led by Tesla remains an incredibly ambitious and potentially revolutionary endeavor. It has pushed the boundaries of machine learning and gathered an unparalleled data set. However, it remains constrained by the physical limitations of its sensors and its path to true all-weather Level 4 autonomy is still fraught with immense challenges. The LiDAR-based sensor fusion approach has proven to be the more pragmatic path to delivering certifiable autonomy to consumers. It is a robust safety-by-design methodology that has allowed multiple automakers to successfully launch the first wave of consumer-ready Level 3 systems. The falling cost of LiDAR is eroding its primary disadvantage, making the case for a multimodal sensor suite more compelling than ever. Our final thought is this. The war for dominance is not about a single piece of hardware, but about philosophy. The winner will not be the company that bets on vision or LiDAR, but the one that masters the art of intelligent, redundant, and cost-effective sensor fusion, creating a system that perceives the world with more clarity and reliability than a human ever could, regardless of what they choose to call it. For more definitive analysis on the technologies that are shaping the future of mobility, subscribe to House of EV and activate notifications. We are your trusted authority in the electric and autonomous revolution.